Uh, let's get our guys in. Will Middlebrooks knows about winning a World Series. Did it with the Red Sox in 2013. Kenny White just simply wins every single day. Our professional, the Wizard of Odds. Um, Kenny, I'll start with you. You're picked to win the National League. And, and look, I know from a wagering standpoint, there are two ways to look at this. The first way is, this is who I honestly think is going to win. The second way is, I think this is the best value. And, and, you know, this may be a team that is a little undervalued, so I'm going to play that because I think there's value. Who do you like to win the National League, and is it a value player who you really do think, if we were in a draft, you would pick first? Well, I have two teams tied to that will win 100 games this year in the National League, and that's the Padres and Dodgers. So if I think they're both going to win 100, I better take the team with the longer odds, and that's the Padres at 425. Absolutely love the lineup. Uh, they're just stacked. Machado, uh, friend, Fernando Tatis, one of the best young players in the game with Hosmer and Pham and Myers and Grisham. The lineup is incredible, but they did a great job bringing in pitchers. And I'll tell you what, Mike Clevenger had Tommy John back in November. If this guy would have been available, Clevenger, they would have had four aces in their rotation. I think guys that are legitimate could be number ones. Darvish and Snell were amazing pickups. Uh, Denelson Lamette has, has put himself in the game of being one of the top ten arms. Uh, and I like Chris Paddock as well. So the bullpen is loaded, the starting rotation is loaded, and the offense is loaded. The only thing they haven't done yet is one. But I think it's a little bit more difficult for the Dodgers. I think it's more difficult to repeat than be that team that's the up-and-comer. Uh, the Padres had a great year last year. They're that much better this year. Yeah, it is hard to repeat if you're the Dodgers. But somehow they got better this offseason, which is a complete joke, adding Trevor Bauer. And, and they have seven starting pitchers that could honestly be in the top three in just about every rotation in baseball. One through nine in their lineup, they're going to bop you. They got three guys. Uh, and Seeger, Mookie, Bellinger, flip a coin. Who, who's going to win MVP out of those guys? You know, they could take votes away from each other. I get that. But as a team, they're absolutely loaded. Yes, the Padres are going to challenge them. I hope so, because that is a rivalry this, that the game of baseball needs. And I think you're going to get it. We're going to get halfway through this season, and they're going to be beating up on each other, and it's going to be good for the game. Okay, in the American League, the Tampa Bay Rays won it last year. This year, Vegas have the Yankees at favorites at plus 240. Kenny, who are you backing to win the American League this season? Yeah, I have the Yankees as the best team in the American League. I have them winning 105 games. I went over on their win total, over 97 wins. They're one of the few teams I actually did go over on. Majority of my, my win totals were unders. Uh, but the team with the best odds, because plus 240 is not the greatest of odds, there's another team out there at 9-1, to one, which I Houston Astros. They lost to Tampa last year in Game 7. Uh, this is a team that has World Series experience. Um, they've, they've still got a great lineup. Altuve, Bregman, and Correa, Brantley, and Alvarez is just a beast at the plate. I like their rotation. Granke and McCullers Jr., Valdez, uh, Javier, Uquidity, the, the bullpen is good. Um, I like Dusty Baker as a manager, too. I think he's the right guy for their job. And uh, this is going to be a fun team to watch. I think the Astros will be in a run the entire year. I got to go White Sox here. I feel like they overperform. I feel like the odds are good for them for, for uh, betting purposes. They have three, get three starting pitchers who finished in the top ten in Cy Young voting last year. They have a solid lineup, even with Eloy uh, Jimenez out. I think they pick up the slack that he hit that he leaves off the table there. Their, their lineups can hurt can hurt you one through nine, just like the Dodgers. And then you look at their bullpen. They picked up Hendricks, Liam Hendricks from the A's. He's going to come shut the door in the in the ninth. He's got other guys who are going to come in and throw gas. This is a complete team to me. The Yankees are right there for me. But the caveat is health. We always have to worry about health with the Yankees. You have to worry about it with everyone, but the Yankees more than everyone in the past three years. That's why it kind of scared me away, and I'm going to go with the White Sox. All right, now you got to pick a team to win the World Series. I suppose it would make sense that it's one of the two teams that you picked, but sometimes the odds don't match up, and maybe there's better value on a World Series play than to win the league play. Kenny, you're first. Yeah, you're right, EK. Sometimes it does. Uh, this one's the same, though, for me. Padres at 9-1 to one now to win the World Series. Um, absolutely love what they've done. I mean, you bring in Hugh Darvish 
and Blake Snell. I, I'm going to bring two aces to your rotation in one year. And like I said, boy, if they had Mike Clevenger, I don't know if, if Clevenger will be able to make it back for September, if he can make a difference or not. It really doesn't matter because they, they just have enough in the rotation. They've got a great bullpen, and the offense is going to be great. One through nine, their weakest hitter is Austin Nola, their catcher, and I've got him two points above an average NFL, and NFL, a major league hitter. So every hitter in their lineup is above average, and, and many are way above average. And, and they got two guys that could win the MVP. Fernando Tatis and Manny Machado could both win the MVP. Yeah, I'm going chalk here. I'm going boring pick, but Dodgers go back to back. They're just too deep. We know when you get to the postseason, pitching depth, pitching depth, pitching depth. That's all you hear about. They have starting pitching. They have bullpen. The only thing I worry about is a little bit of bench depth, which if your guys are healthy, it won't matter anyways. And their lineup is deep enough to somewhat pick up slack if you miss a guy here and there. I just think their depth is too, too great to overcome in the postseason. Okay, from team picks to player picks, last season Jose Abreu and Freddie Freeman won MVP. Let's get your picks for this season. Will, I'll come to you first here. If you had to bet on one player to win MVP this season, who are you going with? I'm going down a little bit, maybe seventh on the list, Corey Seager. I'm, I'm on the Corey Seager train. He, he flies under the radar. He's not dripping in swag, you know, like, like Tatis and Lindor and these guys. But he just rakes, and he makes all the plays. He hit 307 with 15 last year, thinking, okay, maybe he just had a solid 60-game stretch. But he hit 328 with eight in the postseason, won a World Series MVP. All right, maybe he was still hot. Well, here's spring training. He hit almost 350 with eight. I know it's spring training, but still, 350 with eight home runs. In spring. He picked up right where he left. I'm on the Corey Seager bandwagon, and he's my MVP pick. Absolutely love Corey Sager. Love watching him play. He is a great player. And I didn't even look to see who won the MVP last year or the year before. I just took my top hitter, and that's Freddie Freeman. He had my highest rating of any offensive player. I love the uh, Braves lineup. I love their the ballpark that he plays in. It's great for left-handed hitters. So I think Freeman has another great year at 12 to 1. That's a great number. Another guy with a long shot in the AL. Uh, Shohei Otani at 20 to 1. You got a two-way player who is healthy now. I think he's going to be the ace of the staff by July, and he will be one of their top hitters right there with Trout uh, for a majority of the season. He's going to put up big-time numbers. Uh, if he hits 30 home runs and wins 15 games, I don't know how he couldn't be the MVP. Yeah, I love the Otani because I'm. people won't know what to do with it, and it'll be so unprecedented. There's going to be some sentiment that if he is – their best hitter and their best pitcher, and they in the playoff race, people can say, how can he not be the guy, given the fact that no one's ever really done that before, and the odds are long. I like the Otani. All right, now, how about the Cy Young Award winner? If you look, for example, in the AL, Garrett Cole's the favorite, 22%. You have Shane Bieber to repeat. He's at 21%. Lucas Giolito, who you mentioned earlier in the program, 17%. Over in the National League, Jacob DeGrom, who's obviously no stranger to getting this thing done, he's at 20%. You got uh, other guys right behind him, Trevor Bauer, Max Scherzer, Walker Bueller. Who do you like here? I'll tell you right now, I don't like playing favorites, but I am going to play Garrett Cole. Where are you first, Kenny? Yeah, I went with a former Cy Young Award winner who uh, changed legs, and he's a left-hander in Blake Snell, and he's in San Diego. Uh, he's going to love pitching there at nighttime because the ball just does not carry. Uh, Snell will win a lot of games with this team, and I have the Dodgers, or the, the Padres winning 100 games. Like the Dodgers, Blake Snell's going to have to win a, a huge number of those games to get him there. Uh, he's got a chance, I think, to win 20 games and have an ERA, you know, around two and a half, maybe maybe a little lower than that. So at 12-1, to 1, I think he's a great shot, but Garrett Cole is the best pitcher in baseball. I can understand why you why you would back him. Snell was my value pick, but I can't go against Jacob Degrom. He, he's just the he's on a different planet. Let's be honest. He's he's sitting 98 to 102 in spring training. You're supposed to be taking it easy, getting your work in, getting ready for the regular season. If that's what he was doing, uh, are we going to see 103, 104? Uh, maybe. He's got a plus-plus slider, plus-plus changeup. I faced him. It's not fun. The ball comes out different. I faced Cole as well. It's completely different. Jacob DeGrom is on another level. He's my Cy Young. Certainly no harm going with DeGrom. I mean, he's great. I love the selections. Well done, gentlemen. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. 
hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.